First off, how has the internet changed the conditions of real-time news? Uh, the internet has changed pretty much everything in real-time news. I mean, it's, it's really in a phase right now where uh, almost anything that happens has been on the internet before we've been able to report it. So really, it's, it's futile for us to even try and compete with the internet uh, as far as speed is concerned. I mean, and also, there's not really that much of a necessity uh, for it anymore because, I mean, the, the big question is, do you really want to be on half a second before the other guy? I think right now what it's up to is... Um, being believable, being credible, um, and then filling it with as much information as possible. So uh, the internet has done a lot for speed and news and has got, done a lot for real-time news and also has done a lot um, to make people consume more news than they have for a very, very long time. But what you do have to worry about and watch out about is that what you're getting from the internet is real and is true. Is the quality of news, is that suffering through the enormous quantity you know, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think it's suffering. I think that. Um, I think that more outlets for news are always better than than less outlets for news. I think that you do have uh, a lot of chatter in the internet right now. You do have a lot of uh, people posting stuff that that might not be true. But on the other hand, you do have a lot of news outlets right now that that do post very good journalism, and you also have uh, a lot of bloggers who who produce a lot of great journalism. You have people who. Um, who, who get you to, to, to the heartbeat of what is going on uh, very, very quickly. And it's not just, it's not just blogs, it's also things like Twitter. It's, it's when you take it and you know how to use it that you realize that it actually increases the quality of journalism um, once you learn how to work with it rather than, 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 than being detrimental to good journalism, I think. So on that note, um, how has citizen journalism changed the reality of, of professional journalists? What kind of challenges does that pose? Well, I think the thing about citizen journalism um, from the way that I see it is that citizen journalism turned out to be something way different than we ever thought it would be. I mean, if you go back to the 90s um, or even the late 80s, what news people tried to do is they tried to institute citizen journalism in the way that they controlled the shots, they controlled what was going on. Um, so basically, the, the thing back then was you wanted to host like like a panel discussion, you know, or have people come up with topics. But I think one thing that people who, who instituted uh, or who initiated citizen journalism never thought would happen is that we would lose control of the method of dissemination, that we would lose control of the medium itself, and that everybody would basically have his own printing press, as people like Jay Rosen uh, like to say. So I do think that citizen journalism has empowered a lot of people. Um, I think that um, it has led to, to obviously a great quantity of stuff uh, being on the internet, but also to, to a great quality of stuff also uh, being on the internet and it's something that, that you as a news person have to work with. But it certainly has taken power away from us, has made us stick to our facts more, has made us be more careful about what we report, about how we report it, um, and has I think also in many ways made us be uh, more transparent as we try to work with, with, with citizen journalism, as we try to work with people who are on Twitter, on blogs, as we try to be very transparent about about how we make our decisions. We have a lot of give and take. We get a lot of feedback. We give a lot of feedback to people uh, when they ask us. So I think that, that on the whole, it's, it's been very beneficial to us. Okay. Um, what does CNN do to stay ahead of the game? What do we do to stay ahead of the game? I mean, basically, we've, I think that we have, uh, like very few other um, news organizations have embraced uh, citizen journalism and are trying to work with us. I mean, we have a lot of presences on Twitter. We have a, a presence on Twitter called the iDesk where um, everybody can be, can at least get a glimpse into what we're going to do as to our decision-making process. What's going to be on our air very soon? Why is it going to be on our air very soon? What's interesting inside the newsroom right now? So I think what we're trying to do is we're trying to be very transparent about it. On the other hand, what we're doing is we're also um, doing collaborations with a lot of social networking sites. Like if you saw yesterday the Michael Jackson Memorial, we had a collaboration with Facebook where people fa posted their Facebook comments. Um, so we try to work together. Uh, with these new social networking sites, with, with things like Twitter, but also with bloggers. And we take them very seriously. We talk to them. We read them a lot. Uh, and then we also have a lot of our own content uh, on those platforms. Like there's big CNN presences. Almost all of our reporters are on Twitter themselves. Uh, almost all of our anchors are on Twitter themselves. CNN itself is on Twitter. We're all on Facebook. Um, so in that sense, I think we've, we've embraced it and, and, and are very much part of, of the whole thing. Okay. Um, CNN is known for, for breaking a lot of ground when it comes to news coverage and, and um, the whole media of, of news. Um, what is going to be the next big thing in journalism? You set yourself that, that citizen journalism went somewhere no one really expected it to go.
So what do you think is going to be the next big thing? What do I think is going to be the next big thing? Well, I think that, um, that things like social networking sites and, and all that, I think that's going to expand. I think you're going to see a lot more um, citizen journalism go around. I think what you're going to also see is that the technology to, to make news is going to get smaller and better uh, over time and that we're going to have to find ways to work with that. Cameras are going to be very small. It's going to be very easy to do live transmissions from a car that are broadcast quality from anywhere in the world that are really broadcast quality. And that's going to, I think, I think the technological advances are going to change news in a major way once they get to the point where they're feasible to get things to people in broadcast quality very quickly. And that's something that I think uh, journalists are going to have to adapt to. I think what you're going to see is you're going to, you're going to be on the air a lot more. You're going to be on the air a lot sooner. Um, and you're going to have to find ways to deal with that. But I think that the, uh, the pace will increase more than it will decrease. And I also think that a lot of people are going to be involved a lot more and the whole process of, um, of news gathering, of doing news, is going to be a lot more transparent because you're going, to, you're going to be able to give updates along the way a lot quicker than you're going to be able to do it right now. Thank you so much. No Good. Worries. Thank you.